If you tend to teach your beginner students how to find all the Ds, let's say, or Es or Cs on the piano as an activity, then I have got a fantastic game to share with you called Frog and Snake that they are going to absolutely love and it's going to help them drill those notes on the piano. So the game, as I said, is called Frog and Snake, and it works really, really simply, and it works for just about any level of student, and more or less any age, but I think probably under 10s this works best for. Uh, so this is how the game works. The student is the frog, and they'll be sitting at the piano. Their job is to play all of the notes that you specify, moving from the bottom to the top of the piano. So I tend to teach the note D first, dog in the kennel, or some dodge in the garage, whatever it is, uh, I tend to teach the D. So I'll get my student to play all the Ds from the bottom of the piano to the top using either the right hand or the left hand. The left hand's probably more challenging for most students. And they have to move like a frog jumping between lily pads on the way up the piano. So nice big arch type movements. And this is a great opportunity to uh, work, on, work on technique a little bit on the way up because they've got a little bit of time but on the way down, they're gonna be going really, really fast because as soon as they hit the top note, the D here, you're gonna be the snake and you have to chase them back down to the bottom of the piano. So the snake crawls along like this. Down to the bottom of the piano. So you, as soon as your student has got to the top D, then you have to chase them down. And either they get caught on the way or they make it down to the end. You can of course judge that by how fast you go down the piano, which is why this game is so great. It suits students of just about any age and level of ability. Uh, of course, if you choose to do E's, then the same thing happens, and you'll find after a few goes, students start getting uh, playing the game, and they start kind of working out when they should do the E, and they're having a look down here already to make sure they can get to the next one without you finding them. And then it all ends in a mess sometimes, and you can have a great laugh. I've had so much fun with this game with students. Of course, the C is the hardest one of all, so I wouldn't start with it because C is the last note on the piano. So I would perhaps recommend maybe the D or the E uh, to start with uh, as a good way to go. So that's it, Frog and Snake, it's dead simple. You don't need any books or resources or anything, but a great bit of imagination, you and your student and a piano. Have fun with it, let me know what you think.